Hey YouTube, this is Comic Hero 77 back with another Comic Call video. This is video number um, 18 of the Comic Call series. Um, all the comics in this video were either purchased on eBay or um, local comic shop. So we're going to just uh, head right into this one. And we're going to start with Walking Dead number 61. Now this is a really cool issue. Um, this issue is the uh, is the first appearance of uh, Father Gabriel uh, from The Walking Dead, but also uh, the most important reason why I got this book. Um, I think The Walking Dead is cool, but um, I got it because it has, um, uh, before Chew Number 1 came out, it was uh, first previewed, five, five pages were previewed in this issue, uh, issue 61, and it was published before Chew Number One. So, in essence, you know, I believe this is, in my opinion, the first appearance of Chew. Um, just like, um, you know, San Diego Comic Con, um, San Diego Comic Con comic number two has four preview issues of the first Hellboy. And they consider that his first appearance. And not Next Men number 21. Uh, Next Men 21 is actually considered his first colored appearance. But, um, so this is, you know, technically the first appearance of Chu. Um, has five, again, uh, five, um, five pages from the first issue. So I went ahead and picked this up. Um, it's not nearly as expensive as Chu number one, which I would love to get my hands on. Um, but I think this is a very cool issue. I'm really happy I got it. I like to eventually, you know, there's nothing wrong with this. Uh, you know, it's, I think there might be one color break. I Probably not. Um, but I got this for like $47 on eBay, uh, which is kind of what it's going for on eBay. Um, but, um, you know, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with this book. Uh, so I'm really, really excited to have it. So our next book is Superman number one from the 80s, 1987 to be exact. And I believe this is the first, you know, modern Metallo, um, uh, for Spirits of Metallo, the way we know him with the metal body and the, and the kryptonite. Uh, really cool issue. I got this, I want to say I got this for five bucks at Bulletproof Comics in Brooklyn. Um, you know, and it's a pretty, you know, it's about a VF plus, uh, might be a little higher, but five bucks. I thought it was a good deal. Uh, Hank's always been good to me. He's the owner of Bulletproof Comics. So yeah. Um, the next, the next, um, five books are the, uh, let me put this in order actually, is the one through five. Robin series back in the, uh, I want to say the late 80s, no, actually 91. Um, this is a cool series. All the covers, one of the reasons why I got this, there's specific reasons where all the covers were drawn by Brian Bollock, who's one of my comic heroes. I mean, he's just amazing. So I have one through five, and they were probably three bucks each, something like that. Um, you know, I got it in a bigger deal, but this is one of five, great cover, nice problem. Brian Ballin. This is two of five. Really nice. This is three of five. Really nice issue. All high grade Brian Ballin covers. This is four of five. Just love this. He's just such a great artist. Amazing. He's known for his, uh, you know, for his Judge Dredd and, 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 Camelot 3000. Uh, this is five of five. Really cool. So I'm really happy to get these. I, you know, I think three to four bucks each. Uh, you know, pretty pretty awesome. He's just an amazing artist. Um, you know, if I can, I'll talk about John Romita in every video I have. <laughs> uh, and, and most of my videos, I, I pretty much have it. This is uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 95. The cover and interior is uh, John Romita Sr. 
It's about a 5.5 or 5.0. I think it's a 5.5 in my opinion. It was advertised as a 6.0, a 6.5, but I don't think it is in my opinion. Uh, but it's still a very cool issue. Love it. I'm glad to have it. I believe I got it for like 20 bucks or something like that. But I'm, I'm super stoked to have it. Really cool. Really awesome book. And John Romita, you can't go wrong. Man, it's beautiful. Uh, last but not least, a uh, really great issue here is a Web of Spider-Man Annual Number 2. Web of Spider-Man Annual Number 2, which is cool about this. And I only got it for, you know, I got it um, for the cover. I got this at Bulletproof Comics um, in Brooklyn. Owner is Hank. He's awesome. He's always been good to me. Now, it says $3, but he gave me like 30% discount. I have a membership with him. So all these older books and these uh, trades, you know, these back issues are 30% off. But I don't know the first name, but the name on here is um, C. Vess, V-E-S-S. -S. Um, he did this cover, and, and Hank knew who he was, and he said he's a really great artist. He's done a lot of amazing covers and interiors, but... You know, with this issue alone, I fell in love with this artist. I mean, it's just a beautiful issue. So and I'm happy I got it for less than $3. And it was really, really cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back, uh, I think I'll bring back uh, Spider-Man. Leave it with Spider-Man here. So I want to thank you, YouTube. I want to thank you, comic book community. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please leave some positive comments and some likes. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this very much. This is Comic Book Hero 77 signing out.